take a lift to the fifth floor of a London department store and you'll get a taste of culture that's a real sweetener. Immortal works of art, like The Laughing Cavalier, are on show here. But it's only a closer examination which will reveal an art within an art. Icing art. Well, that's something which could give you an appetite for old masterpieces. Now time for some interactive fun. And we're back with cake again. We're back with cake again in the new studio. In the new studio. That's right. I'm still Kirk. It's still dumb to slate. And we're back with more cake. Cake and to redo part 10. Can you believe it? Part 10. It is July. Well, July is about to end. But uh, cake and to redo part 10. We're back. Like I said, I would be back. Um, my last episode I did was a random new creative idea or thought bubble um, to get my creative juices flowing. And it worked because I'm back with some new creative juice in the form of cake. Part 10. Um, yeah. So this one, I'm going to jump way ahead and jump way back. You're used to that by now because, you know, I'm Kirk and this is still dumb Tesla and that's why I do. For these next episodes, I am pushing myself to actually write scripts. Um, and as I say that out loud, a thousand um, Instagram uh, advertisements for script writing services or programs probably just got added to my t- uh, timeline because that's all has been popping up. But I was like, do I download um, an app or do a subscription? And the both like a bunch popped up like. The whole start of this series, all these series is me reading that book, um, Save the Cat. And they have kind of a script writing story um, program that helps you, you know, uh, write stuff, organize and, you know, expound on your ideas. And I'm looking at it. It's kind of expensive. Um, But then literally through Google looking up stuff, somebody had a script um, template on like Google Docs and I just copied and saved it and um like they had instructions on how to align stuff and you know the format you want to write it in and where you put things and you put direction and character names and all that stuff so here's a pro tip for me if you want to start something new like this always look for the free version first never jump to I'm going to buy this or download this and do this always look for the free version first Get in the habit of doing it and then go to paid subscriptions or whatever the next step is. But I always look for the free version. But like I said, I jumped way ahead. Um, let's back up a little. Cake into part 10. We're at part 10. We're, we're been going on this series, this story for a while. Um, I think I've done most part of figure out the story, the characters, the main idea of the story where we have a relationship between these two bakers that work at the A&E bakery, Andre and Eldon, they're kind of, um, there's age difference between them, but they have the dynamics of an older couple um, where they're kind of in a stale point where they've gotten to the routine where they don't see the toxicity between each other and they don't see the conflict between each other. And at the same time of them running a successful, successful bakery, they have their own backstories, their own Things they bring to the relationship, they bring to the table. Everybody's like that. They're also there's also a reality show that's being filmed um, in the bakery that's basically surrounded around the older character, Andre, who's this kind of um, already famous baker who's kind of getting the second life in the reality show world. And Eldon is the quiet, reserved other part of the relationship and the partnership that he's held to the background. So Andre could kind of shine and the reality star but Eldon is a real um artist he's the real patisserie and baking artist um and he's held to the back and that's the point where I kind of got caught up that's the point where I wanted to start my random script like as an example for this where um the boiling point of where Andre and Eldon because they're the story already starts it's a romantic comedy it's a buddy comedy but the couple already, the main couple already starts in the beginning of the story. And you see 
how they came together, and then they get to a boiling point where they break apart. And then there's going to be new love interest. There's going to be all these things. Uh, with my hero, Eldon, that's the main character of the story. That's the hero. You want them to succeed. You want them to win. You want them to fall in love. You want them to win the big bake-off contest. And, and that's the main, like, climactic point of my story at the end where there's this big bake-off reality show contest. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I wrote a script. Because so, uh, I like I said, I've done overall stories and characters and themes and all this stuff. I want to get into smaller scenes that progress the story. So the the main scene that I've been working on and you know thinking about and writing about and all that stuff and how I see it going up into my head is I want to get to that point where the break happens in the story, where the main characters separate, you know, and then you see it in buddy comes when they maybe come back. In the end, or they never get back together. In this case, I probably don't think they'll come back together where Andre and Eldon split because I want Eldon to find a new love interest. And this is the part that I'm coming to next. So I need that build up that you see that build up in Eldon's character feeling resentment for this reality show, feeling resentment for that Andre's taking all the credit that Eldon has been doing. And so there's a couple scenes I was thinking about how. Do I get the next love interest for Eldon? Um, and of course, this is a romantic comedy. So I have to do a meet cute. So I'm thinking this is going to be the overall scenes that are coming up where you see Eldon. Um, there's, there's a scene that's going on. I'm setting up the scene. The scene that's going on with the reality show and they're filming a scene in the front of the baker, a scene in the front of the bakery with Andre and some customers and all this stuff and Andre's, you know, living it up, showing how he's a big artist, which, he, you know, you as a, uh, a watcher in the audience know he really isn't. Um, he's living it up for the reality show camera. Talking about how he made this amazing cake for this care for this uh, customer who it's a fake customer. It's all the reality show. Everything's fake. And then you see Eldon in the background kind of stewing in the background because he's always pushed to the background. He was up at early in the morning doing all the work and. Andre, again, is taking all the credit and that's kind of running dry. They had an arrangement. That's how it will be. Of course, over time, Eldon kind of feels fed up with it. Um, when that scene ends, the shop kind of goes back to being a regular shop. All the reality show people, the directors and all those camera people leave. Um, Andre leaves and it's basically just Eldon alone in the shop. And then a customer comes in and the customer is angry at the at Eldon because he's the only one there. There was an order that Elvin, uh, Eldon, sorry, I don't mean Elvin, Eldon did, and that um, he thought was ready for this customer, but then he finds out that Andre changed it to, I'm thinking it's going to be like a huge cupcake order with these fancy cupcakes that Eldon did, but he now finds out when the customer comes in to complain and chew Eldon out that Andre went behind Eldon's back and made it an erotic order, made it into erotic cakes cupcakes or whatever pastries when it wasn't supposed to be. So now Eldon is there by himself trying to make up for this wrong order and the, the customer's fuming. And it's um, this, I said it before I, in my mind, this character is going to be a trans man or trans male character, trans facing character. Um, and of course the first person that popped up was Elliot page, um, that kind of character type. So they'll be coming in with this wrong order kind of chewing out Eldon, but Eldon can't say Andre messed it up because, you know, Eldon's running a bakery. It's his bakery. He's part ownership. So he can't just say, oh, somebody else did it. Eldon's really reserved and really, you know, he wants to please everyone. That's part of his character makeup. So he's like, okay. He he asked uh, Elliot Page. I'm just going to call him Elliot Page from now. <laughs> um, You know, when do you need this by like Elliot Page is a, uh, event planner or something to do with weddings or parties or something like that. And it was like, they need it today. They need it later today. So Eldon is like, all right, I could do it again. I can make it again. We don't have any orders. I'm alone in the bakery, but can you help me? So it's going to turn into a meet cute scene where Elliot Page's character sits and like helps and watches Eldon make these amazing artistry cupcakes and Eldon. And Eldon and Elliot Page have this cute um, conversation between each other and this dynamic each other where 
Elliot Page's character describes stuff and Eldon being the artist, being the, you know, bakery master. He creates these great cupcakes, these great pieces based on their their chemistry, their sudden chemistry of that date together, which they don't realize they're having a date. Eldon really doesn't hasn't really dated. He, Andre is the first person he's really been in a relationship with, so he doesn't realize how to flirt or anything. He doesn't realize when somebody is flirting with him or is attracted to them. He's kind of just caught up in his own world of being a baker. You see Elliot Page kind of not so much overly flirting with Eldon, but falling for him because suddenly they were angry. They were mad. But then they see this cute baker who's an artist and really, you know, confident, really great and doing all this stuff in the kitchen with them and talking to them. And they have this really cool, meet cute afternoon with them baking together. Um, and you see Elliot Pages, of course, it's a movie magic. So you see Elliot Pages character character fall for Eldon um, and really hype him up and, you know, um, say how amazing of a baker and artist he is and all this stuff. Because Elliot Page has seen the reality show that's being filmed, but doesn't know that Eldon is the true artist and all this stuff. Um, and then Eldon at the end you know, gives them this great order with all these cakes and everything, these cupcakes or whatever. And they're happy and they have like a cute, like when I imagine when he's handing like the box over to LA Page's character, they have a moment where they, you know, eyes catch and all that movie magic, romantic comedy stuff. Um, But it does two things. It gives um Eldon the confidence that he can flirt or be, you know, f- fun around another person. Um, it gives him another love interest because, I mean, he doesn't know what's going to happen in the future, but soon the camel, the straw that breaks the camel's back is going to happen where Eldon and Andre split. Um, but it also gives Eldon a big head. I'm going to say this because two things I want to happen from these meat. There's going to be two meat cutes. I should have said that in the beginning. This is the first part. Eldon gets a big head because he finally has somebody in front of him that quote unquote sees him sees him as an artist, sees him as a great baker. And he's never really had that. And that's kind of what he's always wanted. That's why he has so much, he's built up so much um, anger towards Andre taking all the credit. But he finally has somebody in front of him that sees him as an artist. And he gets a big head. Because there's two things I want to happen for the for the um, hero in this story, which is Eldon. I want them to be seen so they can have that confidence and know that they could be attracted to someone else and have this chemistry and this romantic, you know, heat between someone else because they really haven't felt that in a while. And I want them to get a big head because I want Eldon, the hero, to be humbled later on. The second part of the meet cute is going to be where after the split between Andre and Eldon, the main character, and Eldon is on his own. He's back staying with his polycule kind of uh, family, you know, uh, habitat, I'll say family home his adopted family home. He's on his own and he's like at a farmer's market or something. He runs into the Elliot Pages character again. And they kind of have a second meet cute where they're walking around the farmer's market, buying ingredients and stuff. And then um, randomly it turned into a date where Eldon goes to cook for Elliot Pages character or something like that. And in his head, he still is kind of big headed. He has a big head about Elliot Page kind of, you know, Big, uh, I, I'm running out of words, but bigging him up for being an artist and boosting him up and uh, building up his ego. And Eldon, has, like I said, he has a big head of it. But Elliot Page's character corrects him on something that Eldon had never, never heard of or never learned of as a cook or a baker or something like that. And he becomes humbled. That's very important for me for a hero character. They need to have success, but they also need to be humbled. They need to be brought back down to earth and feel that reality. And they need to it needs to be from a person like the Elliot Page's character that Eldon is falling for. So he feels seen in a good way by this character, Elliot Page's character, and also humble by them, not in a mean way, but in a way that you you will want your partner to humble you, to make you a rounded person. So Elliot Page does that for Eldon, and it makes Eldon fall for them even more. Because all this is new for Eldon. It's like that new love teenage feeling and he's falling for them. And later on he asked, cause Elliot page has some uh, cooking skills or baking skills. So 
the end crescendo of the story where the Bake Off, Elliot, I mean, Eldon finds out he needs a partner to work with him because he's basically on his own. He doesn't have a bakery on his own to face off against the former A&E bakery. So he asks Elliot Page's character to be his partner in this great bake off at the end of the show. At the end of the movie, I should say. Um, but those are the two meet cutes. Those are those are like how I see these um transitions in the story happening. You have that first meet cute where you set up Eldon is kind of feeling like he's tired of Andre, but stuck in that relationship. And then he meets the Elliot Page's character and they have a great date and meet cute and all that stuff. Unexpected romance and chemistry pops up. And then you have this split. Andre and Eldon split. The the straw finally breaks that camel's back and they split. And Eldon is on his own trying to pick himself back up. He doesn't have a bakery anymore. He doesn't have a reality show. He doesn't have money. He has to go back home to his adoptive family. Of course, not his original family. And he doesn't have the backing of you know, a star baker that he fell for with Andre before he's on his own. But then his turn as a hero is building up success again, him meeting up with the Elliot page character again and having another great date and being humbled by them. Um, feeling more rounded as a person that builds his character, builds his confidence in him saying, I feel amazing about this Elliot Page character. I want you to be my partner in the end of the show. And I want end of the movie. I keep saying show end of the movie. And I want you, this is what Eldon's saying. I want you to not just be my partner on the show, but I want a relationship with them. They end up falling in love at the end. That's the big spoiler. At the end. They don't win the competition because it ends in a huge food fight and everyone gets disqualified, but they fall for each other at the end. They're covered in cake and dough and icing and all the stuff because a big food fight breaks out. Um, but then there's they're holding each other and kissing. That's the end scene. That's the end of the movie. But I'm I'm jumping way ahead. It's jumping way ahead. I'm trying to build out these small things and build out these characters. But that's what I have right now. I have like scripts going. Um, the script, the the part of the script I wrote now. Uh, or recently, I should say, not right now. I'm recording right now because you're listening. Um, it's like that first, it's the beginning of that first meet cute where you have the um, reality show being filmed in the front of the bakery that's showing Andre as this amazing baker and Eldon in the back kind of stewing in the back and making noises. And he gets told off by the TV producer of the reality show because he's making noise and that makes him more mad. And then Andre has to talk to him and basically pander to him. But then you, the second later, the, the scene changes and Eldon's alone in the bakery and the lights are dimmed and the, all the camera people are gone and it's a quiet bakery again and Eldon's alone. But then that's when he meets that Elliot Page character. That's that's what I'm working on. Um, so the next episode I'm going to be doing like kind of these script ones because I'm really excited, like creative juices. Can you hear that? The creative juices are flowing. Um, but that's what I needed. A nice kick. With a new, with a random new idea I did in the previous episode, and I'm back with a cake. Um, sorry if that was too much rambling, but I'm back. The creative juices are flowing. But yeah, that that's that's where I'll end it. Um, I'm excited for the next one. The next one will be the uh, insect story. I'm still doing the back and forth. I'm trying to get back on a good uh, schedule with these. I'm set up in my new studio. I got everything, um, and I'm flowing. So thanks. I'll keep writing these scripts. I think the next cake episode I'll do, I'll try to, I'll do like a reading of the scripts and see how they come out. Um, hopefully I don't sound <laughs> too cheesy because writing dialogue is something in your head you probably think you're amazing at, but then when you write it and then read it out loud, you're like, whoa. But um, that's how you get better. You keep working at it. And I'm keep working at it. I hope you keep working at something too. Maybe it's being happy, but thanks for listening. I'll end it there. Um, Hope you're doing something good, listening to something good, being good. But yeah, I'm still Kirk. This is still Dumb Test Late, and we're back with that cake, baby. Bye.